Shalom, Rastafari. Greetings. We've been speaking about the Middle East and prophecy. Um, we posted a couple of vids about Libya and also going to the prophetics of it. And, and it's just really amazing what we're seeing happening in the Middle East and, and how closely um, the, the, the biblical um, end times, a lot of folks don't like that expression, but it's reality. If it had a beginning, then it got to have an end. So this Gentile kind of um, world system that we're living in, we're seeing the the collapse and the crumbling of it, but really what we're seeing really is the prophetic of it. Anyway, let me just back up this vid right here, and I want to show you something. I was, I was really surprised to see this myself, but um, let me see if I could bring up the CBS News right here concerning this um, Morsi, right, and Mohammed Morsi, the new Egyptian president. Okay, they're going to play a commercial up here first, so we're going to let that play through for a moment and just reason a little bit more on this. Now, you know, a lot of people say that we all worship the same God, and, you know, they try to say, well, you know, Judaism, Christianity, then they try to include Islam, but you have to really check the word, right? And there's this protester who's happy about the Morrissey thing, and let's check it out for yourself, all right? It took a moment for word of the victory to sink in. Then, the crowd roared. It was all supporters of the Muslim Brotherhood or its candidate, Mohammed. Come again. It took a moment for word of the victory to sink in. Then, the crowd roared. It was all supporters of the Muslim Brotherhood or its candidate, Mohammed Morsi. They came to Tahrir Square to protest against military rule. Mm -hmm. And they came hoping to celebrate a turning point in Egypt's history, the country's first truly democratically elected president. Having been there right from the beginning, what does this day mean to you? I I I thank God that I I I can't expect anything. Wait, 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 wait. hold up for a moment. And this is just a step. We still have a long road ahead. Yeah. Here I, 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 thank God that hell, I, 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 uh, uh, did you, did you hear that? Did you get that? He cried like hell. He, he sang God like hell. Remember this, this candidate in this Egyptian election, you know, is, is the so-called religious or the the Islamic Brotherhood and the whole Al Qaeda and Islamic Caliphate state and all their new world order. So he's saying right here that he cried like hell, and 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 he he worshipped God like hell. Let's just back this up for a moment. When we first heard this, we we were shocked, and we didn't record it live off the TV. We had to go to now the CBS. I can't put on with I can't I I I I I Having been there right from the beginning, what does this day mean to you? I I I I I I I I I I I can't expect anything. And this is just a step. No, no, no. It was close. One more time. Having been there right from the beginning, what does this day mean to you? I I I can't I I I thank God I can't. I mean, come on now, people. Come on, my Hebrew people. You understand, brothers and sisters in Yeshua. Do we all worship the same God? Now, come on now. He cried like hell. Do you worship God like hell? And and what God do you worship? He can't express anything. He can't express anything. He expressed a whole lot here. So this is very interesting what we're seeing develop in the Middle East. And this is biblical prophecy. The Middle East is in that prophecy, and we're in the eye of the storm. We're heading towards the eye of the storm. But check this out one more time. I, 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 I thank God like hell. I, 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 uh-huh. Right from the beginning, what does this day mean to you? I I I I I thank God I I I can't expect anything. And this is just a step. We still have a long road ahead. 
It was close. Election officials said Mohammed Morsi beat his rival, former military general Ahmed Shafiq, with only 51.7% of the vote. There's the news crowd in Career Square were waiting to hear. The people here see this victory as justice for fellow Egyptians who lost their lives fighting for freedom on this very square. Sixteen months ago, Tahrir Square became the front line in the revolution to overthrow President Hosni Mubarak and the scene of deadly clashes between pro-democracy demonstrators and forces loyal to the regime. More than 900 people were killed. In his victory speech, Mohammed Morsi said their deaths would not be in vain. You hear that? The U.S. trained engineer said that he would be a president for all Egyptians. Uh, you hear what he said right there? Their deaths <laughs> will not be in vain. You, you don't understand, Sharia. You know what this whole Sharia thing is? And remember, these are the pale red and Indian Hindi Arabs, right? Egypt is fucked. For real, you think you're going to be able to go there and look at some black stuff and everything like that? Go and, like, sightsee the pyramids and all of that? Yo, this this is a whole new day, you know what I mean? And you really need to check this out. You need to wake up, you know, and stop telling lies, talking about we all worshiping the same God. Do you worship God like hell? Do you worship hell? I mean, I mean just overstand this. People who want to, who want to, who, who love death, in a sense, more than life. I mean, come on. Are we all worshiping the same God? There's a God of the living and there's a God of the dead. Now, I know a lot of y'all will try to, like, say, well, yeah, you know some Muslim or Hamadan and all that. But let's wake up and look at the real world. Keep, keep looking at Egypt, but check out what the prophets say about Egypt. Let's play this whole clip just, just in toto one more time, just for the record. It took a moment for word of the victory to sink in. Then, the crowd roared. They didn't call supporters of the Muslim Brotherhood or its candidate, Mohammed Morsi. They came to Tahrir Square to protest against military rule, and they came hoping to celebrate a turning point in Egypt's history, the country's first truly democratically elected president. Having been there right from the beginning, what does this day mean to you? I, I, I can't with with her. I feel like I can. I, I, I thank God I can. I, I, I can't expect anything. And this is just a step. We still have a long road ahead. Hmm. It was close. Election officials said Mohammed Morsi beat his rival, former military general Ahmed Shafiq, with only 51.7% of the vote. <laughs> There's the news crowds in Career Square were waiting to hear. The people here see this victory as justice for fellow Egyptians who lost their lives fighting for freedom on this very square. Sixteen months ago, Tahrir Square became the front line in the revolution to overthrow President Hosni Mubarak and the scene of deadly clashes between pro-democracy demonstrators and forces loyal to the regime. More than 900 people were killed. In his victory speech, Mohammed Morsi said their deaths would not be in vain. The U.S. trained engineer said that he would be a president for all Egyptians. Across town, supporters of Ahmed Shafiq appear to be in a state of shock to hear the news of their candidate's defeat. They accused Egypt's generals of lacking the courage to stand up to the Muslim Brotherhood. For Morsi's supporters, the celebration picked up and the sun went down. There's no doubt these celebrations will go on all night, but tomorrow's rear square goes back to being a protest camp when the Muslim Brotherhood resumes its campaign to get Egypt's parliament back in session and try to restore some presidential powers. Jeff, Charlie Duggan, thank you. Mm. Well, there you have it. <laughs>